Last year was the combat update. This year is the quest overhaul. What can we expect? How will this change the game? And why will Path of Titans change? as we know it. Today I'm telling you everything we can expect about the quest overhaul that's coming this year to Path of Titans. The quest update will follow on the leaps and bounds made by the combat update which ultimately led to the release of the pounce update where we saw pounce and grab release into the game. Across 2023, we saw numerous updates all refining and adding to the combat update itself, which ultimately peaked with the combat update's pinnacle in October of 2023. For the quest update, I think this will be the case as well. I feel like we'll be getting bigger content drops for 2024, so it will be likely be stretched among the different major updates dotted throughout the year. Maybe like how we saw it in 2023, with one every quarter, we saw an addition to the combat update, which technically started in the second quarter with the Night Stalker update, then we saw it in Q3 and Q4 with the first update this year being a smaller update with remodels and stuff like that from last year. So, what can we expect from the quest update itself? Well, this has been outlined quite easily and this is what we can find out. New quests and this will be from the ground up. New achievements and rewards, open-ended growth and leveling system, rewards for the discovery of rare items and locations as well. The devs essentially want to increase the gameplay loop for the quest system, bear it for the players by introducing a multitude of content for this, so it's not just the same old, same old. The developers have admitted that it is essential for them to nail this, as they did say, that once the engine upgrade is complete, the plan is to fully focus on overhauling the system and ensure every moment of the game is fun and engaging and this could be something that could be started very very soon because if you look at the public test branch for path of titans the current engine upgrade is in testing and this is something i outlined in this video here which went over the whole update that is on the ptb at the moment we know the quest system will be rebuilt from the ground up. The developers outlined this in their dev blog post from December 2023 by saying this. Our plan is to begin tackling the quest system from the ground up. This means changing the system to allow for much more variety in quests. Adding on to this by saying, instead of collection quests or delivery quests, we will be able to create highly situational quests based on the location they take place in. If we go back further to what's to come in 2023 dev blog that was posted in December of 2022 on Christmas Day, they outlined in this one that we will also be seeing the addition of new quest types, more goals and more achievements, which leads me to the next section which we'll be talking about in a moment. But they also added to their aim by saying that they aim to jam pack areas with hundreds of things to discover and to ensure players never feel as though they aren't progressing towards wider goals. This will be a big rebuild. What you know from the quest system now will likely change massively as time goes on and by the end of the year it will be likely completely different than it is right now which is going to be extremely exciting. Now we don't know if the current delivery and collection quests will be removed completely or if they will just be a side thing to do just to help you aid your growth. So it will change from the core from the ground up and that is due this year. Mentioned in my previous point, there will be new achievements and rewards for the quest system, but what exactly is the case here? What are they going to be? Well, new achievements and metrics will be incorporated into the game, but what can we expect from those new achievements themselves? This is what they've actually noted down, because you are likely going to be able to keep track of your stats and maybe after certain milestones, get an achievement that will be showcased on your profile, kind of like how you can get achievements on games that you play on Xbox, Steam, PlayStation, the likes of that. However, we do know what some of the achievements could be and what some of the metrics that you will be able to keep track of will be as well. So deaths, kills, fish caught, hours played, creatures dug out of burrows, 
but they also mentioned that many more will be coming as well and this is not the full list that we'll be seeing as metrics and achievements they will be able to strive towards. They also added that their plan is to have a list of achievements and triumphs you can complete to earn extra prestigious rewards which ties into the next segment which is rewards so let's quickly go over that when they first outlined this in 2022 the developers mentioned that we will be able to also better reward players for simply exploring the world rewarding growth and marks for discovering rare items and locations now obviously we already get growth and marks but this was expanded on further this year because we now know for achieving quests and all of that and achievements you'll be able to get new skins and new emote animations. The skins we have kind of already seen. We've actually seen these in the December dev vlog video and in the dev vlog themselves. There was a picture and there's video footage of them on some of the dinosaurs. If you want a specific skin, complete that specific achievement. But they also did mention that you will be able to get new emote animations as well, which ties into the next section because they also plan to add AI to the game and technically speaking the reason why it's tied to new emotes is because these will be rewarding you those emotes. On two separate occasions in the December 2023 dev blog, the developers mentioned the word AI and NPC. These were listed once each but they were given off which summed up to two because they were talking about the same thing which was NPC dinosaurs, AI dinosaurs coming to the game. This comes from the form of quest givers which the developers have mentioned here by saying this, NPC dinosaurs that will be able to ask for help or put the player into interesting situations and these will be set out to be fully functional quest givers and so will be able to give you quests. Additionally, we know what the rewards for some of these quests will be as well because the developers mentioned that you could unlock a new emote animation for completing a specific quest for an NPC dinosaur. So those emote animations you'll be able to get from NPC quest givers. Now, it's unlikely we'll see NPC quest givers for a little while, but they're probably coming out in the back end of the year. This seems like it will be the first step towards seeing AI in the game at all and so it's a very good step we've got ai critters next we'll likely see ai quest givers and then after that ai dinosaurs perhaps so that's going to be really exciting but i mean also you need ai to be able to have ai quest givers so maybe ai quest givers are just the introduction of ai themselves together I don't know, that's just a silly theory. But that is it. The repetitive quests and the lackluster quest system will be changed from the ground up this year in Path of Titans. Gone are the days of the boring quests. It's likely by the end of this year, it'll be completely different. However, if you are interested in all of this and want to check out another Path of Titans news video, check out this overview of a brand new update that hit the game at the weekend, which was nerfing our new playable Hatsigopteryx. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.